I'm Ben Hanawalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And today we're going to talk about some frequently asked questions that I've received on the PowerFocus 6000. The first thing I want to talk about is open protocol, how to connect, and how to communicate. So let's go down to the software and take a look. The screen that we're going to go to, this is the home screen, we're going to go to the Virtual Station tab. Now if I click in, we have a lot of options in here. The one that I'm interested in is protocols, specifically open protocol. And you can see I already have it turned on. So I'm gonna click on the tab, and within here, we have a couple of options. First option is slider bar just to turn on or off open protocol. And the second option is the server port. Now this is unique to, if you have up to six tools on the system, then each of the tools communicating to Open Protocol would receive a unique port so that they can have unique communication from each tool. So the first tool would be 4545, second would be 4546, and third would be 4547, so on. The disconnect setting is going to be a cool feature, a new feature also to the PowerFocus 6000. Now this feature gives us the ability to unassign a task or lock the tool if we get disconnected from the open protocol server. And this is really useful and something that didn't exist on previous generations of tools. Now, we can hit apply and any changes that we made are gonna be implemented. Now, how do we check if we're connected to open protocol? We're gonna go down here to the bottom left and we're gonna go to the result menu. And at the top right corner, we're gonna see protocol connection. And I'm gonna click on this, and you can see we have a tab for open protocol. Now I can see that virtual station one, port 4545 is not connected. And I can also see the last sent and the last received MIDs. Now these are really useful for troubleshooting, and when we are communicating with open protocol, we can figure out what the uh, last sent message and the last received message, which is really useful. So I hope that this has been helpful for setting up Open Protocol. It really is that simple. There's nothing more to it from here. Um, if you do have any further questions, feel free to contact an Atlas Copco representative and we can get you some answers. Thanks.